Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing. Well, it's September 2017 and I, like many people, have been rushing out and panic buying vacuum cleaners before all the higher wattage machines are out of stock. Because as some of you may know, all vacuum cleaners now sold in the EU can be a maximum of 900 watts only, a maximum decibel volume of 80 decibels and there's other changes as well. Now this is also after the 2014 regulations that limited vacuum cleaners to 1600 watts. They've now gone a step further. So I panic buyed this SIBO air belt because this is a 1200, 1200 watt motor. Now any future air belt machines will have to be under 700 watts. I have two other SIBO air belt E's and they are both 700 watt cleaners, a straight suction cleaner and a power head version. Now I was a bit disappointed with the suction power to be honest of the 700 watt SIBOs that I've used. So I thought I would get a 1200 watt E series while I can. Now these will be replaced at the time of making the video, there's nothing on SIBO's website, but I suspect they'll just be replaced with machines with lower wattage motors. They may keep the 700 watt motors and they might introduce a 900 watt version. So this is a 1200 watt, this is their PET version. So this comes with everything you need for cleaning up after your dirty pets, which includes SIBO's small turbo nozzle. In previous machines I've got, I've always found this nozzle effective, but it is pretty noisy. But it's uh, made in Germany. You've got easy access to the turbine. Fairly easy. Pressing down on there and pulling back, I think. Well, come on. Well, anyway, it is. Oh, there we go. It doesn't open fully, but it opens partly if you get that um, clogged up. So that is your pet turbo brush and that's designed really for your upholstery, pet bedding, stairs and car interior because it's only narrow. It would take you forever to do a carpet with it. Fortunately, being the pet version, this does have a large turbo nozzle. Okay, let's look at this EU label. So it gets a D for energy use because it's relatively high wattage at 1200 watts. Um, so it uses 45.3 kilowatt hours per annum on average. Gets a B rating for emissions, that's dust emission from the exhaust. It only gets a D for dust pickup from carpet, but of course this only tests dust pickup and a certain type of dust from a certain type of carpet. It doesn't tell you how well it picks up pet hair. You'll have to wait for the demo to see how well it picks up pet hair, and I think it does pretty well. Gets a C for dust pickup from carpet, sorry, from a floor. And it's quiet at 72 decibels. Now, 72 is well under the 80 decibel limit that is now imposed on vacuums. Where this machine fails with, of course, is in the energy use. So 1200 watts, that's way above the 900 watt maximum allowable now. Well, it's only 300 watts, but. So this is your hose, that's your hose end. And that's your handle end, nice comfortable grip, nice elegant handle. I think it's about um, 2.1 meter, I think the hose, so a bit longer than on the basic version. Instruction book. Now the back here is the full sized turbo brush. Now I used to have this turbo brush Actually, I bought it as an option. No, I was bought it. Sorry, one of my um, viewers, David, bought me one for my Amazon wish list. So I do have one of these for another SIBO. But this comes as standard. It's a pretty effective nozzle. In fact, I've used this turbo brush on my basic E1, which only has a 700 watt motor. And actually, it did pretty well, considering. But again, you've got uh, your revolving brush and there's an adjustment there for different heights of carpet. Just opens a suction valve. And you've got a click fitting. There's also a parking bracket at the back. Next out is a nice quality 
telescopic metal tube, adjustable of course. There you go. Nice ratchet action. So you can adjust it to whichever height is more comfortable to you. And of course it's got the click fitting. And the other floor head you get is the Sebo Combi. Now, if you've got a lot of hard floors, you might be worth looking at buying the Sebo Parquet nozzle, which is an optional extra. That's a very good hard floor nozzle. This one should be equally good. It's just a little bit heavier than the Parquet one. The Parquet one is suitable if you've got, as I say, Parquet floors or more delicate wooden floors. But this is the combination nozzle so it's suitable for carpets and floors and you've got a little button there that you press brings down a soft fairly soft looks like a natural brush actually at the back and uh, two wheels you've got your litter pickers for carpets and your side well it doesn't have side suction channels but they are removable i do remember reading something about these being removable but they've been closed off to pass the EU rating, I think. The brush comes out as well if you need to clean it. So again, it's quality. Whenever I unbox a SIBO vacuum, whichever model it is, I always know that I'm unboxing something that's really well made. So that's all the tools. Last thing to come out is the machine itself. It's finished in a, an onyx black color. Go. So very smart. This is Sebo's compact cylinder or canister. They still produce, at the time of making this video, they still do the K series. But I think in time this will supersede it and they'll only have the E series available because they have made several improvements, in my opinion, with the E series over the K series. So as you can see, it's very smart. It's still got Sebo's air belt system, which uh, they fitted to all their cylinder cleaners since they started with the C cylinder range. They've always had the air belt. So basically the exhaust air from the machine vents through the side of the air belt. So it diffuses the air. So you don't have a, a blast of air coming out of the machine, but it also provides a nice bumper to protect the machine and the furniture from knocks and scratches. At the back, you've got two small onboard tools. You've got crevice tool, which isn't the longest crevice tool I've seen, but it's certainly not the shortest. It's about a medium sized tool. It's certainly bigger than some of the tools you get. Uh, for example, with Miele vacuums, they're only really short with a Miele. So this is a little bit longer. That fits into that hole there. And then you've got another nozzle here at the back which is your upholstery nozzle. You can use that on your upholstery and your curtains, etc. Now, unlike the K-series, this nozzle will actually fit directly onto the hose or onto the end of the wand. With the K-series, you had to fit the crevice tool first and then fit their, the upholstery nozzle onto the end, which was a little bit inconvenient for some people. So now they've done away with that and you can fit, fit this independently. And it just fits neatly into the back of the cleaner, if I can get it in, there we go. Clicks into place. Also on the machine itself, it's quite a simple design. You've just got foot operated on off switch and um, a foot operated cord rewind. That's the cord rewind at the back. This is the on off switch, but it also combines your variable power. So you press it to turn the machine on and then you can turn it to adjust the motor speed. On the back, three smooth running casters again excellent quality you've got your parking slot and also this is your exhaust filter it looks like a little bag they're not washable on SIBO cleaners you are supposed to replace them at least once a year there are two filters to replace on this machine so that's the exhaust one you can buy them in a separate pack I think you can also buy them with bags included so that just tucks into there it's all sealed it's sealed to keep the dust in. It also has good insulation to reduce the noise level. 
You've got a bag check indicator just here. Bag door opens and then you've got a bag. You can close the flap to remove it. Not huge, but it's about average. It's similar sort of size to a, a Miele bag, maybe a little bit bigger now. Miele have made their bags a bit smaller. It's probably around the size as a Miele G bag, if you know the size of those. And we've also got motor protection filter here, just located behind the grill. In fact, that's part of the grill. Again, it's replaceable. You shouldn't really wash them, but I have in the past but uh, you're not supposed to. So that goes in there. Make sure there's always a filter in place. I don't think it'll allow you to use it without a bag, actually. You can't close the bag door unless the bag is fitted correctly. And it fits just onto there. Make sure it's not sticking out anywhere. That's it, and then we close the bag door. Hose fits on here in a nice push and until it clicks there we are nice secure hose fitting the hose does rotate it doesn't swivel in the machine but it actually rotates either end to stop it from tangling up it's a very smart looking vacuum cleaner from SIBO it's a nice design it's a shame they haven't really changed their uprights apart from the Felix which is the most recent upright, I'm not including the um, Evolution upright, which is a commercial machine. They are introducing, at the time of making this video, I've only just seen the pictures. They are introducing a brand new range of uprights in response to the EU regulations. And they're going to be called the X7 series. I've seen a couple of pictures. They do an X7 boost, which is in the same black color with the same boost button that's provided on the X4 Pet Boost. I've also seen a red version, slightly lower down in the range. It seems very, very similar to look at. They have changed a few things. I have not had my hands on one yet. It's not even in the shop, it's not been launched. But when it is launched, I will obviously be getting one. They have made some changes to the head to comply with the EU regulations. So it will be quieter than the previous models and it will be a lower wattage. I think it's about 890 or 900 watts. It's just under the allowed wattage. So hopefully those machines will improve on the performance. They'll still be built like SIBOs, they'll still be reliable, but um, I wasn't too keen on the looks of it when I first saw it, but it's grown on me, but it will be nice to test one in the flesh. So SIBO have brought out new cylinder cleaners. This is the latest cylinder or canister model, the E series. And before that, they brought out the D. The D series are a very good range, but they're much bigger. They're more suited to larger homes because they have a larger bag and a much longer mains lead. Right, I'm just going to give a quick turn on with this. See how quiet it is, Oops, or noisy. Well, it's 72 decibels, so it's not the quietest vacuum I've used, but it's certainly not going to be the noisiest. Let's pull out the cord. I think it has a fairly generous cord. I think it's over seven meters. I'm not sure if it actually says on the box, just to let you know. It just says it's 1200 watt motor, ultra bag, da 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 da. No. But it does have a fairly long reach. But that includes the hose, which is a, a longer hose than you get with some vacuums. Right, I'll just give it a quick go and I'll do a full demo of this machine at some point. Obviously, I'll test it on pet hair because this is a pet version and uh, obviously you will be choosing this if you have pets. And I also will be unboxing and reviewing the E1, the basic red version, which is straight suction, 700 watt motor, and the top model, the E3 Premium, which has the power driven head. But again, those models that I've got will be superseded by the new EU versions. So if you want a SIBO air belt 1200 watt like this, you need to be looking in the shops or ordering online now before they run out of these. But I'm sure whatever they replace them with, they'll still be fine vacuum cleaners. Okay, I'll just turn it on. I think it'll be on the lowest setting.
Just out of uh, experience and remembering my 700 watt air belt E1, it's definitely got more suction power. So I mean, the EU rating system on the whole was a good idea because some of the vacuums that we were getting were far too energy guzzling and they weren't very efficient. So it has forced manufacturers into making more efficient vacuum cleaners. But I have to say the 700 watt version of this, just from my experience of using it, does seem less powerful than the 1200. So the wattage does make a difference. Definitely more suction. Let's just quickly try out the PET turbo brush. It will make a lot more noise though. They are quite a piercing noise, these small SIBO heads, but they are effective. And finally, before I go, we'll just have a quick go of the um, full-size turbo brush. And of course, you want to see a demo of it, and there will be a demonstration of this coming up alongside a lot of other vacuum cleaners that are due for demonstrations on this channel. not too noisy actually the full-sized turbo brush on this machine it also makes it easier to push I found that compared to straight suction nozzles a turbo brush glides over the carpet easier especially with these EU machines a lot of the nozzles are designed to achieve the rating the dust pickup rating but you'll often find they are very hard to push I've noticed on many of the low wattage vacuum cleaners you have to really turn down the suction in order to be able to move the nozzle across the carpet which again although you can still use it lower suction will reduce the pickup performance anyway first impression very good obviously i'm familiar with the e series now this is my third one and i'm familiar with the SIBO brand they are very good vacuum cleaners a lot of people in the UK and I expect in America haven't even heard of SIBO. They don't advertise widely and they're not available everywhere like the likes of Vax and Hoover and the other big brands. You can't get SIBO everywhere. You can get SIBO from John Lewis stores in the UK, independent retailers and of course online. One other improvement over the K-Series is the addition of a dedicated cord rewind button. With the K-Series it used the pull-pull system where you just had to tug on the cable slightly to release the mechanism and then the flex would rewind into the machine. Some people didn't like that, didn't bother me, but see I've now put a switch. So that's the end of my unboxing and initial first look at the SIBO Airbelt E1 PET vacuum cleaner. Remember this is the 1200 watt version so this won't be available for long so if you want one you might not have time to wait for my review. It is a good vacuum cleaner if you've got pets but if you want to go for the top model if you've got a lot of pets and a lot of carpet I would consider the E3 Premium that has the electrically driven powered head. If you have any questions about this vacuum or any SIBO vacuums in particular, please ask in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.